I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Yeah. I just had to get that out. Um, I had to get that out. I always knew I was different. Like, I always knew I was different. Some of you are different. Some of you, you have to be you. Uh, when, when, you when you be different, people think you're weird. But some of you are probably weird too. But, but that's okay. Be you. Like I said, I always knew I was different. From school, I knew I was different. But I was different. I was, I was me when I was with my friends, with my family. I uh, graduated from school. Still was, you know, we wanted to fit in. Like I said, being different is different. You don't want people to look at you a certain way. So, yes, 2013 is when I took the step into being me. But what if, I, what, if I didn't, what if I didn't pursue me? Number one, I wouldn't be here right now. Because you wouldn't know me. Y'all wouldn't know the guy who worked at the largest casino. Y'all wouldn't know the guy who worked in the, in, 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 in the bank for nine years. No, y'all know me because I did me. I put out my first video in 2013 Mother's Day. And what if I didn't put out my video in 2013? I wouldn't have made this step into not being afraid of doing this. I come up here, I get more butterflies in my stomach right now. Like, and it's every time I go on stage. So don't be afraid to do this. I'm, I'm a shy person. I was always shy. When I was in school, when it's time for my class to have assembly in front of the whole school, and you know, the teacher would come and say, we need some people to, to say these things. I take five steps back and be like, no, I, okay, I'll just sing with the class. I'll just sing with the class. Now I'm here talking to you guys. I'm on stage making people laugh. And every single time I go on the stage, I have butterflies before I go on. Like right now, I think I already forgot three things that I'm supposed to say, but that's okay. Because this is me. I make mistakes. When I make mistakes, you have to accept it because Nobody is perfect. Like I said, I put up my video, and if you don't know, I do comedic videos. And what's different about it is, my videos don't just make you laugh. My videos have some sort of message behind it. But not all, some just crazy. <laughs> not all, but yeah, some have some message behind it. Like you'll watch a video, laugh, and when it's over, you'll be like, hmm, that's true though. Oh, yeah, I see what he did there. And like I said, usually when I put on my videos, I'll get like 25, 30,000 viewers. But there's some videos that really stood out amongst others. I have a video that has over 500,000 viewers on Facebook alone. And I ain't paying for no sponsor. That's just me putting it out and people share it because they're relatable. I put out videos that people can relate to. I'm going to show a video to you right now. This video has over 200,000 views on Facebook at the moment. And I can let you watch it. And then I can explain it to you. Hey, 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 please don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Give me the money, boy. Give me the money, boy. Wait, the only thing I get on me right now is $2, but that's all I get my name right now. What? I got $2 supposed to do for me, boy. What I supposed to do with $2, boy? What $2 supposed to do for you? What you supposed to do for me? This is all I get, mate. All around you looking and thinking everything's good because I got all this little suit and tie. No, you all think things good, eh? But ain't nothing happening on this, mate. I'm a paycheck to paycheck, mate. You pay my rent, the loan. I don't want nothing else, mate. My kids need food. But I, I don't want it. I don't want it, mate. All you know, mate. I have two dollars. Thank you, two dollars. That's all I have, man. Hey, let me show you something, boy. I know how it is, no, boy. You need to fix this whole paycheck, the paycheck thing you doing, boy. That ain't working for you, boy. That ain't working for you, boy. Find something to go, boy. And deal with that, boy. I know you're along, man. I get a couple dollars, yeah? Get your uh -huh. kids something to eat, then, boy. Feel me? Uh huh? Get your Fix this paycheck, the paycheck thing, boy. Thank you. That ain't working Thank for you, boy. God must send you. God had to send you. <laughs> I 
need to do better with my life. I need to do better. Yes, that is one of my videos. And like I said, that video has over 200,000 viewers. And I don't think just because it's funny. I think it's because people can actually relate to that. Because, and to be honest with you, more than 80, but 90% of my videos are true. Like real life situations. That right there was a real life situation of me. I wasn't putting off on no one. That's me being me. People, and, and the moral of the story of the video is, don't judge. You know, people from the inside, people from the outside look at you and feel like the character right there. Because you are on a suit and tie, bathing every morning, putting on cologne and go to work, and you drive in your own car that you have it so good. And come to find out the robber found out that it wasn't like that. But now uh, the robber is a motivational speaker now. <laughs> it, 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 it worked. But this video right there honestly helped me to make the step into doing me. Because I think about two or three months after I did this video, I left my job just to be Sawyer Boy TV. Yes, TV, that is the TV. I was walking into them and that's me. That's me. But like I said, you, you can't judge. Don't judge people. I, I tell you all this now, don't, don't judge people just because of how you all think they may be. Because you don't know how these people are behind closed doors. So I have another video. And like I said, I like to make my videos relatable. And whatever it is that you want to do, you could do it. Like, I knew I, knew I had this in me a long time ago. I used to go up watching comedy videos and Live in Color and Saturday Night Live and Eddie Murphy and Jim Carrey was my idol. Like, I wanted to be Jim Carrey. Pet the tech, you all ain't know about that because you're, you're all a little young, but you all get excited. But that was me. That's what I wanted to be. But because people would look at you and be like, you're just immature. No, you're too playful. I am mature, I'm playful because I like to make you laugh. I getting paid for that now though. Who am mature now? <laughs> Who traveling for free now? <laughs> it's my job now. Like I said, it opened up a lot of doors for me because I was me. Because I, be, I chose to be me. Be you, even if you feel like you're weird, be you. You just weird, that's all right. But you're happy with yourself. And like I said, I like to do relatable videos. I remember when I was in school. I don't like getting up in the morning and get ready for school. Somebody else, some of y'all do? <laughs> Let me show you all how me and my mom used to be every single morning for school. Every single morning. Little boy, you get your head one right now. Don't let me come in here again and you ain't like, oh, you keep it up. Keep it up. Keep on shaking up. I can feel something to shake up for. Get up, go on the top, brush your teeth, and get ready for school, little boy, if I cut your head. And that's, and that's me every morning. Like you, you walk straight to the bathroom, you're brushing your teeth, mods. I'm gonna go to school. But that was me. That was me last week, too. But it's all right, it ain't changed. I ain't like, it ain't changed. I just don't like getting up early in the morning. But I don't have to because I work for myself, so. <laughs> Tell them like 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock is good for me. But like I say, just be you. I just, I don't, you know, morals of that story. That's just, I just wanted to bring that out. But, I know some of you, y'all are in high school right now. Any 12th graders in here? <laughs> 11th graders, y'all in here, okay. And I'm sure plenty of you, I'm sure plenty of you want a driver's license. Y'all want to get your own car. Y'all want to drive. Driving in Freeport, okay. But some of y'all can move Nassau. And driving in Nassau, yeah, a little different. A little different, there's plenty of traffic, plenty of cars, plenty of road rage. But the one thing that really, really gets me that someone needs to fix, it ain't the traffic, you know. It's the people in the car behind you when you on the light who choose to blow their horn 0.04 seconds after the light change. <laughs> I don't know why they're doing that, but that's what they're doing. But I just need you all to be patient, because some of y'all could be on Nassau Road, I just need you all to be patient. Because I could do a video about you. I remember you in Freeport. I tell you all, don't do it. But look here. This is how they are inside their car in Nassau. It had to be like this. It had to be just like this. So, 
So I can need y'all to get prepared for that. And they're like, that's been me sometimes too. I ain't like, but I gotta go. I gotta go home. But I'm glad y'all laughing at the videos. And like I said, the moral of that one is just be patient. Not just in your car, but just be patient. Just think about some things. If plenty of people used to think about, like they just take a minute to think about something before they do it, plenty of things would have been changed. You got some people in jail right now sitting down like, I didn't do that. I wouldn't have been here. But just take one minute, 30 seconds, just to think about it. But like I say, this is me. This is who I am. I am Sawyer Boy. My last name is Sawyer. I am Sawyer Boy. I love to do videos. I love to talk. I love to make people laugh. Call me playful. Call me whatever you want. I happy. This is me. This is how I, this is how I make my living. I got three beautiful kids. I got to feed them some way or other, so I got to make plenty of people laugh. But my, my message to you is, be different. Be you. If I wasn't me, I wouldn't have been traveling, working. I wouldn't have been working for myself. I wouldn't have my own TV show coming out very soon. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm I doing it. And don't wait. I don't know what y'all want to do, but whatever it is y'all want to do. I know I, I hear plenty of people saying, oh, I got to wait until I get like $10,000 to make this happen. I hear, I hear plenty of people want to do videos. No, I got to wait. I got to get the, light, the right lighting. I got to get the right camera. I got to get a little studio. I got to need a team. I do all this by myself. From 2013, I borrowed my ex-girlfriend, mommy camera. <laughs> uh, that's real talk. I, I borrowed that. I started doing my videos. She leave me after that. I keep the camera. <laughs> I, give it up, I give it up once I get a good phone, though. But just do you. Don't worry about no one else. All these videos I do by myself. I record these videos on my phone. But I'm going to make it better. But just be you. That's all I got to say. And what if I wasn't me? What if I didn't do me? I wouldn't have been here. I'd have been on some job just like this. Next. <laughs> yes, mom. Yes, mom. You know it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and you still get morning breath, mom. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I do it by myself. But thank you. Just be you. That's all I got to say. Be you. <laughs>